Hey, before we get started with today's video, I just want to let you know that I will be taking on one free mixing client if you are willing to have your song featured in one of the videos for Get Songs Done. Please email me. It's jw at getsongsdone.com. And on that note, let's get into the video. Uh, we're going to be showing you how to manipulate multiple plugins all at the same time and automate them doing several, several, several moves at the same time. And this will build off of the previous video of creating macros to control multiple plugins. So if you haven't seen that video, go ahead and click it, it should be somewhere. And now we'll go into this one. So for this to work in a quick fashion, I'm going to pull up a mixing preset that I have. There is a free one you can get the link will be in the description and there's also a pay, some paid versions this uh, red hot mic drop is one of the paid presets and these are dynamic the presets have macros assigned and there are bunches of plugins being controlled by just these little macros so pay attention to the vocals at the beginning of the song we'll have the vocals more muffled and when the chorus comes in we will manipulate this xy axis to make it more fun in order to see all of the automation happening i have to arm every single plugin on this track so we have uh, the pro eq we have the red light distortion we have chorus we get everything pinned you can do whichever mode you like latch or right i like to use latch in case i let up on my mouse it will stay in the same spot and unfortunately this does take a little bit longer than maybe doing something like this inside of ableton but once you have it set up and you do arm all the tracks then it is pretty easy to pull it back up okay so now that we have all of our automation armed on all of our plugins we now have the ability to manipulate eight at once so we're going to start at the beginning and we do need to pull up the macro panel as well so on and so on for each section so for each quiet section i'll use these type of settings and then for the courses i will do a similar automation to what i did at the beginning there
something like that to automate the entire vocal track with lots of effects, just doing very subtle changes to tons of different effects to create a very dynamic vocal, even though the vocal itself is quite compressed and quite EQ'd and quite one thing. This gives you the ability to make it sound different in different sections and morph all of the things. So if you want to grab this, check the link in the description. If you want to make a preset like this yourself, make sure you watch the previous video. Leave a comment below if I missed something or skipped over something and you need to see more about it in the next video. And if you want to get songs done, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. And on that note, we'll see you in the next one.